What is happening guys? Leroy Rollins coming back at you with another video. All right, today is October 25th, 2017, which means we are a week and a half out from IFBB Worlds. I was talking to my coach today and he's decided to make a few changes to the plan, which is crazy because just this past weekend, we made a bunch of changes. Okay, let's go over those changes right now from this past weekend. So, prior to this past weekend being Saturday, Sunday, I was at around 1800 calories, still a decent chunk of carbs. Uh, cardio was 40 minutes on the Stairmaster Monday to Friday, and then 30 minutes, four times a week post-workout. And weights were the same as per usual. Monday's a rest day, Tuesday is back, Wednesday is quads. Thursday, chest, shoulders, tricep, Friday, rest, Saturday, wow, brain fart, <laughs> Saturday is hamstrings and glutes, and then Sunday, a little gun run with some shoulders. Starting this weekend, he decided to increase my cardio to 40 minutes in the morning, across the board still, Monday to Friday, and then 40 minutes in those afternoon post-workout time slots, so 80 minutes of cardio a day. Plus my weights, which usually takes between anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. So we're looking at almost three hours a day of training. Nutrition wise, he pulled a bunch of carbs down. So I was following um, the plan that he had sent me prior to this, uh, which consisted of I had rice still, I had my post-workout Cheerios, and I had potatoes still. But... This weekend, this past weekend, that changed. He ended up getting rid of one meal, which was my potatoes, so he switched that to just protein and vegetables. So that was, I was at 150 grams of potatoes, so that was like 40 to 50 grams of carbohydrates, which, as you may or may not know, are a primary fuel source. So energy levels took a, energy levels, they, they took a hit, hit over there. And then he opted to, drop my oats down to two thirds cup post-workout, which is not a lot at all. But today, today things changed even more. He's taking out my oatmeal, my post-workout oatmeal, which means one meal a day is carbs, and that is my pre-workout, my little bit of rice that I get to keep, which is 145 grams. Uh, to give you guys a visual, that's like, maybe just over a cup of rice, so it's not a whole lot, um, and it's just before training to fuel the training. So we lost the Prots, which sucks. Um, it's a meal I really, it's not Cheerios, it's not on the Cheerios level, guys. Like Cheerios, as far as like taste, is like here, but pro, Prots is just below it. It's not, it's not a huge difference. I love my Prots, um, and I'm super, super sad to see them go away, but, it's for the good and it's only till probably like next Wednesday, so a week today, so we're gonna get through it. Instead of having the Prots post-workout now, we are changing it to just protein and vegetables. So, wait, no, not even vegetables, just protein. I don't even get to enjoy some garlicky vegetables. He's gave me the option of choosing egg whites or fish, um, which, oh yeah, tough decision. Egg whites or fish, plain or plain. <laughs> But uh, what I've been doing is putting a little bit of garlic spice. I'll show you this stuff right here. Okay, just garlic powder. I've been putting that on my eggs and it makes a world of difference. Uh, spices, guys, they make anything plain, at least to give us some flavor. Well, I'm opting to go with egg whites post-workout with my protein shake still, which is Blue Star Iso Smooth Chocolate Flavored as per usual. So, nutrition now <laughs> is very, 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 very plain, very boring, as most people would call it, uh, but it's for the greater good. As you can see by my face, I'm leaning down greatly. Uh, I was 156.0 this morning, which is an all-time low this prep. So we're getting down there. We've got another two or three to get off, which I know we're gonna do, especially with now cutting even more carbs out, which is bringing me down to like 1,400 calories, which for me is extremely low. I started this prep at like 30, either 35 or 3,600, so we are less than half of what I'm used to running on. So it's no wonder that my weight is, is going down. 
Training wise, we're keeping it the same as far as weights and stuff go, but that will change come next week because uh, this weekend is one week out, which means we start what's known to known as peak week because uh, you're peaking for the competition for next weekend. So things shift around a little bit and I'll update you guys when that happens. Uh, but for now, carbs are gone, basically. Protein is up high and then fats. That's the other thing I want to talk about, fats. Fats are a prime, they're not, uh, uh, depends on how you eat. Uh, if you're keto, fats are a primary source uh, for fuel. But for me, my body's used to running on carbohydrates. So now that we're pulling carbs out, it's using my body fat for fuel. Um, but fats, like dietary fats, are good for brain function. They are necessary to keep uh, everything going, which is why sometimes I feel a little loopy. Well, my fat sources are now just my two eggs in the morning. So I have two eggs in the morning, cup of egg whites, spinach, all mashed together. And then with my rice, fish and vegetables meal, I have 10 grams of coconut oil, which is just like a tablespoon. It's not a lot, but I still weigh it out. And then my last meal is one egg, spinach, and then that cup of egg whites again, of course, with the garlic powder. I've noticed that uh, just getting ideas across is kind of challenging, so hopefully you guys are understanding me in this video. And uh, I find my reaction time is actually a lot slower, which is kind of scary because uh, driving today, uh, when I was coming home, it was kind of weird because I'd, I'd want to make a driving decision and I was like, oh yeah, turn. <laughs> so if you see a red truck, uh, stay away. Things are going great. We're almost there. We are a week and a half out. A week today being next Wednesday, I fly I fly out to Spain. So it's it's coming in hot. I'm so, so, so pumped. Um, I, can't, I can't even tell you how excited I am. Um, it's just amazing. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update. Be sure to tune in to the video probably Friday or Saturday uh, discussing peak week. Maybe I'll have some training footage, some, some other discussion stuff, and uh, some information regarding prep. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, like button, share the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.